with the Chinese New Year, the year of the rabbit, approaching. Appropriately enough, fashion goods featuring Chinese traditional candy brand White Rabbit at this store in Shanghai's Qiantan area have been getting lots of attention from the young customers. I feel more relaxed these days, so I felt like shopping. I just came by to see if there's something I like. There are no travel restrictions now. Before, I just didn't want to go out during weekends. It was too much trouble. But now I'm out shopping every weekend. The brand's now seen a steady recovery of visitor traffic, following the government's initial easing of its COVID precaution policies, and the company's enhancing its investment. By the end of 2025, Tapestry is planning about 100 new stores across China. We do see the trends,、uh, but due to some、uh, COVID fighting situation, some of the customer they still、uh, lock themselves、uh, for the healthy,、uh, healthy purpose or whatsoever. So that's why we don't see a hundred percent recovery, but we see the tendency twenty percent, thirty percent, especially in the weekend and also in our outlet store. We see more and more people getting out. The easing COVID policies, of course, have brought new hopes for a recovery at the shopping malls. Usually, the discount peak season starts from the second weekend ahead of the Spring Festival. So we have some warm-up this weekend, and we'll start the shopping spree next weekend. Consumer numbers began to pick up around Christmas. People are showing a lot of interest in gold, jewelry, cosmetics, luxury watches, and sports clothes. While during the New Year holiday, the shopping mall saw a fall off in its sales and customer flows as people remained cautious about COVID. Its customer flows now are back to 80 percent of what they were at the beginning of December. Of course, at the same time, the brands have also been actively pursuing their online business, live streaming, and that business model is far from fading away. At the corner of this store, a host was holding regular live streams to introduce its products. Last week, e-commerce platform Douwu held its first annual brand event, focusing on the spending power of the younger generation. Last year, almost 7,000 brands gained young buyers on the app, and 167 of them won special awards for their ability to appeal to young consumers. With 70% of its users born after 1995, Douwu last week issued a white paper in cooperation with consulting firm Roland Berger. Releasing its conclusions about young people's consumption preferences. Overall, the environment has changed a lot.、Uh, per our uh, data uh, from the、uh, collaboration with the platform Poison, 40 percent actually mentioned that they are more or less more conservative than previously. However, the good news is that、um, basically they also will prefer、um, to stay positive in the longer term. The company has also launched a new plan for this year to ensure the app remains a continuous attraction for the brands and for their young buyers.